Well, I'm certainly not some diehard Trump supporter. I just really don't like Biden and his set of priorities for the country. You know, four more years of those priorities? Giving other countries tons of money. An increased military presence across the globe. Increased government censorship powers and the abuse thereof. Remnants of Build Back Better. DEI across the board. And policies that make it hard for small businesses. Having said that, die-hard Trump supporters often confuse me, and in some cases they scare me. I don't understand how anyone could possibly put some one person, one human being, up that high on a pedestal and ignore all their shortcomings, their lies, their flaws, and their faults, no matter how serious, no matter how often they show these things about themselves. I think it's incredibly dangerous to put that much faith into one person. I also think it's incredibly foolish for Republicans to put all their eggs in one basket. They have no backup plan. And as I've said before, if Trump is made ineligible to run for whatever reason, mainstream media has chosen Nikki Haley. That was their choice before, that will be their choice again. You know, even though she did write on a missile, uh, finish them, right? I lost a lot of respect for Trump in a particular lie that he tried pulling off when he was being interviewed by Fox News recently, where he tried to claim that he didn't chant. He never said, uh, lock her up, that, that it was just the people that, that were chanting it, just the, the crowd was chanting it. He never said it. It's just like, why would you say something that's so easily able to be proven wrong? I mean, it really, really doesn't take much effort to find footage of Trump saying this. He's done it a number of times. Does he even know he's lying? Either he's so used to lying that it doesn't mean anything anymore, or he doesn't even realize that he does it. Which, if true, and he doesn't even realize that he's lying, it doesn't present a pleasant picture about his cognitive abilities, you know, and the fact that he's wanting to run for president again. Either way, that whole Fox News interview of Trump was really strange, especially the, the very awkwardly placed jump cuts that were throughout it. I'm wondering what was discussed between those cuts. Did Fox News save Trump, or did they just unnecessarily censor him? You know, what's, what's the truth of that? Look, there is a chance that Trump could see prison time. If it were the everyday Joe Blow getting charged with these types of crimes, it can be certain that they'd get prison time. With Trump, even though he was president, it still is possible that he may get prison time. There are enough people who hate him that it could really go in that direction. Just under principle, it is highly unlikely that I would vote for someone who is in prison. I'd probably vote third party. How could I claim that I'm for the rule of law, except in this case? That's not being very principled. And if Trump cultists riot over Trump's imprisonment, maybe with several handfuls of different groups across the nation basically calling for civil war, it would be just yet one more principle in which I would not vote for Trump over. Just saying.